Righto guys, so we found the fault within this Hydrostar electronic brake unit. This is an electric hydraulic brake unit. And the motor is not turning properly, so we've siphoned as much hydraulic oil as what we could out of the top. And uh, we're going to just disconnect the wires here, take off all of these bolts and drain out all the fluid and then show you what it looks like inside and then we're going to overhaul the pump to get this thing working again. Right, that's all the bolts out and when we pull this off all of that hydraulic fluid's going to leak out. Right, guys, so we're just pulling apart this Hydrostar electro hydraulic brake unit off of a boat and as you can see it's got a big circuit board in here and these are prone to failure as well as the motor in here so we're going to pull the motor out and see if we can overhaul the motor because this motor is all bound up righto so we've pulled the circuit board out the front and then you can see the motor is in here and then you just take all the bolts off the back end as well on both sides and then you can pull the whole billet casing off and there's your motor so we're going to pull that motor out and overhaul it right so we're going to unplug the motor now and you want to take some good photos of the circuit board to show where it is that the wires are originally going to so that you can put them back in those same locations when you go to reassemble righto guys so this is what it looks like inside the hydrostar Hydro electronic brake unit. This is the big motor and this is the pressure relief uh, Pressure sensor switch and as you can see the motor is bolted to the main billet frame where it provides the pressure To apply to the brake So we're going to pull this motor out and have a look at the brushes inside and overhaul it because the motor is not turning properly So we suspect it's seized and some of the brushes and stator needs to be cleaned up and we'll get this working all great again Stick with us. We'll show you what's going on inside Righto guys, so we got this Hydrostar back together. Sorry we lost the footage of when we had the motor off, but uh, we've got this back together now and we've got it all working. So as you can see, the wires here, the white wire goes over to the black terminal, the black wire goes to the red terminal along with the blue wire, and then you've got this breakaway switch here. So you've got this breakaway switch here and then when you pull the breakaway out it joins these two wires together which in effect joins these two wires together and you've got that pump working. If you ever did want to test it you could also just put this yellow wire onto the red wire here. So this yellow is the breakaway switch wire and that will activate the pump fully. So that's the full activation of the pump. Then you've got the blue wire here, and that's the one that goes to your trailer brake controller of your vehicle. And that's how you fix a Hydrostar brake controller. And on this one here, it had a problem with the pressure buildup in this line here. So you just undo that let the pressure out and that will allow the pump to work freely again and then just bleed it off on the top here that lets the pressure out as well 
So that's how you repair a Hydrostar brake controller. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one.